Can, can I ask a really broad, kind of very naive question? How would we say L LLCs are doing? Um, you know, because when I think of the Board of Ed and when I think of the Chicago Public Schools, I think that there's a lot of conversation and a lot of um, discussion about things. I was just wondering if anyone could kind of in a nutshell. I don't think anyone knows because you know how your LSC is doing or you may anecdotally know how another LSC is doing, but there's no framework for saying, here's how many highly functioning LSCs there are, here's how many, I mean, I assume it's kind of a bell curve, right? You know, you have some very highly functioning ones, you have some very dysfunctional ones, and everyone kind of falls somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I was a part of an organization called Common Sense, um, which was developed two years ago. Jill, you were part of. I I just periphery, I was periphery, yeah. Uh, of that, and so, um, in common sense, does it exist anymore? I'm on the advisory committee. Yeah, as a concept it, really. in general. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's actually rare. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's had better days. But he's on the advisory, so <laughs> no. there's something happening. Well, so um, there's a crisis. I'm sorry, yeah. There's a crisis and in a crucible of coalition forms. And this was a coalition of LSCs that formed because there were really draconian budget cuts coming down from right. the Board of Ed. And what they said was, what's wrong? We're cutting you 4%. But what actually happened is that some schools were getting increases and some schools were getting cut as much as 16 or 18%. Um, so they banded together around that issue. Right, and it was an interesting technological snafu that created the opportunity Ooh. for it, which is CPS on occasion will send out an email to all LSC members. On, this on one occasion, they CC'd everyone instead of BCC'd everyone. <laughs> so that list became publicly available, and that was the list that was used to galvanize to reach out to all LSC members because CPS would not give the information of who are the LSC members. Oh. And now the list is out of date, right? It, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was two elections ago or one or two elections ago. Another um, community group in Pilsen a bunch of years back got a hold of an LSC list and sent something, something out, and I think they got a cease and desist um, for and, contacting LSC members. But I guess in terms of that, that. And it, it, it was different because it was basically LSC members banding together and challenging the budget to CPS. So it wasn't necessarily LSC business in the sense. And if you recall this time, LSCs were rejecting their budget and they were rejecting their budget not based on how the principal recommended allocating it, but rejecting their budget that it wasn't sufficient what CPS was giving them. 